Hello and welcome. It's 11 o'clock in the morning. It's the 15th day of December 2022. It's about 64 degrees and sunny. And it's me, it's your boy, the OG GM, and it's time for another episode of Why Is This a Thing? But first warning, this is a monetized production. I am a YouTube partner, so ads may appear on this video. If you don't like ads in your YouTube, just letting you know now so you can skip ahead or do something else with your time. Meanwhile, I'm drinking water. Support me, water, because you're free. You come out of the tap in the kitchen. Yeah. Water. All right. Why is this the thing? All right. Our friend Ben over at Questing Beast in the past couple days has released two videos regarding the state of fifth edition D&D versus regular D&D versus OSR. Uh, the first video he released was 5e has a DM crisis. The second re video he released was D&D doesn't need Wizards of the Coast anymore. And apparently both of those videos have gotten him a little bit of a backlash, including a few veiled threats and responses from the shallow end of the 5e pool. Uh, the deep end of the 5e pool, I mean, that means people who actually play 5e don't care, and most of them don't even know who Ben is. And the OSR and slash rest of the D&D world and slash rest of the gaming world was like, and? Now, of the YouTube gamers, reporters out there, Ben is definitely in my top five. He's definitely one of the people who has inspired me to do this. He's also one of the most harmless I mean, he rarely has opinions in regards to, uh, you know, for or against. He just reviews things and talks about gaming news, like me. He's way more neutral and non-committal than me. I definitely, you know, he's definitely one of the YouTubers I aspire to be like. So, Ben, you the man, buddy. Um, and I've followed Ben for a long time, and, you know, he's never done anything that I would think would be worthy of the pitchforks and torches that the dwindling shallow end of the WOTC 5e D and D fan belt seems to direct at people. Perhaps 5e shallow end Wizards of the Coast D and D fan belt, the the small dwindling population of you that if you invested half the amount of energy that you do in finding fault in D and D and finding fault in YouTubers like myself or Ben or DM James or the rest of us, maybe you could make the product better and actually produce content that's worthwhile instead of just insults and how dare you's and I don't feel represented. All right, so let's address both of Ben's video. First, 5e has a DM problem. Uh, according to research done from multiple sources, actual legitimate sources like the New York Times, there are more 5e players than there are 5e DMs. There are more 5e players than there are 5e DMs. And this is a problem. Throughout the history of the game, of every single solitary iteration of the game, of every role-playing game in existence all over the world, there has always been more players than DMs, which is pe why people like me are always stuck in the role of eternal DM. There are more players. More people want to play than want to run. It is much harder to convince people to run than to play. This is true for D&D 5. This is true for D&D 4. This is true for D&D 3. This was true for D&D 2. This was true for D&D 1. This is true for D&D 0. This is true for Call of Cthulhu. This is true for Castles and Crusades. This is true for Warhammer. This is true for... Every gaming population, there are more players than there are DMs. So... To say that there are more 5e players than there are 5e DMs is not an insult. It's not an attack. It's not pointing a finger and going, you're wrong, 5e. There is literally nothing wrong with that statement. It is a mathematical truth. More people want to play 5e than they do want to run. But since most of the product is more or less directed at DMs, I guess this would go into part and partial to the whole monetization of Wizards of the Coast product line. Does this mean DMs for other games are better or worse? 
than DMs for 5e? Well, that's a whole nother thing, and Bob, I'm not touching that one. No. Is this some is this a win for 5e? No. Is this a loss for 5e? No. Is this a win for the OSR? No. Is this a loss for the OSR? No. Is this an excuse to threaten Ben? Or threaten OSR or threaten 5e? No, no, it's a mathematical fact that Ben is talking about and then going into why there are more DMs than there are you know, more players than there are DMs. It's, 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 it's a non-thing. It's, it's, it's not worth getting upset about. It's like me saying, you know, uh, there are more fries than there are hamburger. When I order from the store, I get one hamburger and 10,000 fries. There are more fries than there are hamburgers. There are more people who want to watch a movie than direct a movie. There are more people who want to play video games than build one. There are more people who like food than don't. It's a non-thing. It's, it's not worth getting upset about. It's not worth posting videos about. It's really not worth responding to. It's just Ben stating mathematical facts that have been in existence as long as the holiday hobby has been in existence. So once again, dwindling 5e support groups who have turned 5e into something it was never intended to be, you need to just sort of stop. If you're concerned about the trash fire that Wizards of the Coast has become, you kind of need to look in the mirror, you know, because you're the ones that Wizards of the Coast keeps trying to appease, and you're the ones who are still not happy. Ben's statement is not worth getting upset about. All right, let's go to the second statement. D&D doesn't need Wizards of the Coast anymore. That is absolutely 100% true. If Hasbro restructured once again p past the continuing restructures hasbro can produce dungeons and dragons product third party companies can produce dungeons and dragons product 5e is not going to disappear 4e 3e 2e 1e the osr it's not going anywhere if literally tomorrow hasbro said no more dnd D&D &D will not suddenly stop. The Hasbro police will not show up at your door, kick it open, take all your D&D &D books out of your shelf, and run away with them. That will not happen, and anybody who's perpetuating this myth just needs to stop because it's just fear-mongling. It's just these people going, nye, 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 nye. Oh, HR sucks. 5E, how dare you? No. In, the, in regards to printing... Hasbro doesn't need WT. They could print D and D without it. They could create D and D without it. They could license D and D without it. They could make product without it. D and D, the breakfast cereal, doesn't require Wizards of the Coast. The movie doesn't require Wizards of the Coast. All the new action figures and all the new monetization that doesn't require Wizards of the Coast because Hasbro owns D and D. Wizards of the Coast is just the people that produces it for them. And if they wanted to, they could just go yeah. We're restructuring you. We're going to produce it in-house, or we're going to have a third-party company produce it like Renaissance Games, and they'll produce it. They don't need Wizards of the Coast. They could restructure again today, and you probably wouldn't even notice the difference other than less and less product would have the words Wizards of the Coast attached to it. And more and more product would have Hasbro presents Dungeons & Dragons. Oh, wait, that's already happening and has been happening since... 2020. None of this should come as a surprise to anyone who actually pays attention to Hasbro News or the stories that I have been talking about for the past two years. Hasbro announced in 2020 its plans for Wizards of the Coast and D&D. &D. And again, at the beginning of the year, at the Hasbro conference call, and again at Hasbro Pulse, and again at... Sa San Diego Convo Con, and again, as recent as four months ago, said, these are our plans for Wizards of the Coast and Dungeons and Dragons. This is what we're going to do. So this should come as no surprise to anybody. So in regards to Ben's video, no, yeah, anybody can make D&D. &D and, you know, you don't need 
Hasbro to make it. You don't need Wizards of the Coast to make it. It's out there. The SRD is free. Gygax wanted people to experiment with it. Even Gygax didn't play D&D as written or run D&D as written. So Ben coming out and posting a video saying D&D doesn't need Wizards of the Coast anymore is absolutely true. There are hundreds of third-party people people making stuff using 5e there's the osr that is constantly making product there's independent games that are you making fantasy games you know so again this is not a thing is it a controversial statement probably more so than the D 5e has a dm crisis but again it's kind of it's not worth getting upset about maybe he could have phrased it better but it's nothing that i haven't been saying for two years it's nothing most of the other content providers who aren't you know 5e shills have been saying about the state of the osr and five wizards of the coast D versus regular D D versus the osr in regards to wizards of the coast D, one D D or whatever it is is going to be it could stop tomorrow and D D regular normal D would still exist forever the osr and all its very ir irritations would still exist forever. Other games that use the OGL would still exist. Mutants and Masterminds is not going away. Third-party games that use the OGL and the SRD still would exist. Third-party games and indie games that don't use the math from the OS OGL at all and use completely different systems, like Call of Cthulhu, number one role-playing game in the world, wouldn't go away. Wizards of the Coast could disappear tomorrow. D&D would still exist. D&D doesn't need Wizards of the Coast. Wizards of the Coast is just a figurehead. It's a talking horse. It's something that Hasbro can deflect the blame to when things go wrong. Like everything that's happened this year in regards to Wizards of the Coast. Every time something goes wrong with Wizards of the Coast, Hasbro gets to deflect the blame to Wizards of the Coast. And then Hasbro can make statements like, going forward, we're going to do X. Now, if you don't believe me that this has been happening since 2020, all you have to do is look at the products. Hasbro presents. Hasbro presents. Hasbro presents. Hasbro presents. As recently as the Lego D&D crossover thingy. Hasbro and Lego. Not Wizards of the Coast and Lego. D&D movie. Hasbro and Paramount, the D&D TV show, which is in perpetual who knows what, Hasbro and Netflix. So Ben made these videos and they're pretty innocuous and pretty harmless. They're not saying anything revolutionary. They're not saying anything negative or positive. They're simply stating mathematical and factual facts blah 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 this is what ben does ben is harmless he's one of the best gaming youtuber reviewers out there i i have nothing but respect for him i wouldn't know about half of the osr games that i know about without ben he certainly doesn't need deserve people threatening him or insulting him or making videos about how he's wrong you, you disagree with his opinion fine my opinion, I, you know, do I agree with Ben on both of these cases? Absolutely. 100% agree with Ben. It's not personal. It's not an insult. It's not me preferring the OSR over 5e. I love 5e. I just don't love what Wizards of the Coast is doing it. And I don't love the people that use 5e as an excuse to bully and harass other people. Like Ben or me or anybody else. Use that energy for something more positive than calling out Ben or saying he's wrong or OSRS or Wizards of the Coast, that, or blah, 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 whatever. Something, 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 OSR, something, 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 WOTC. Nothing Ben said in these two videos is worthy of the rush of negative responses he has received. We don't know what Wizards of the Coast has planned for 1D&D. We don't know what Hasbro has planned for... Wizards of the Coast, and we certainly can't even begin to estimate or guess what the population of gamers throughout the world are going to do five years from now, much less tomorrow, much less five minutes from now. So saying 
there's a DM crisis in 5e, yeah, that's absolutely true. There are more players than there are DMs. D&D doesn't need Wizards of the Coast anymore? Absolutely true. Anybody who follows the steps can publish 5e product, or 4e product, or 3e product, or 2e product, or 1e product. You, you, if you're watching me right now, you could literally download the OSR OGL, make a product, and as long as it follows the steps, you could put the little 5e label on it and publish it on DriveThru or DMs Guild, and his nobody would care. Nobody would come after you. The Hasbro police would not knock on your door and go, Stop it! Speaking of Hasbro police, did you know I have stickers? One of which includes the infamous Hasbro police meme sticker. Check out all my stickers at Redbubble. I've got stickers, I've got notebooks, I've got coffee cups, I've got t-shirts, all featuring original art from Andrew M., all at unbelievably low prices. You love stickers. I love stickers. Everybody loves the Hasbro Police meme that I created. So check out the stickers. Link down below. If you want to see Ben's videos, link down below. If you want to see the responses to Ben's video, just go on Twitter because Jesus Christ, these people have better, nothing better to do. And that's what's going on in the tabletop role-playing game news today, poor old Ben. Till next time, I'm the OGGM. If you hadn't had a chance to subscribe yet, please subscribe to my YouTube. Help me reach a billion subs, because why settle for less? Check out my merch. Check out my stickers, including the Hasbro Police sticker. And um, have a great day.